Welcome to Mrs. Peach Stifty Living. I'm so happy you're here today. Today is hashtag Ag Tea Tuesday. It is hosted by our friend Patty at Life with Patty and Cassie at Cassie's Favorite Things. You can go over and check and see what they post today and what everyone else in this wonderful collaboration has posted. Today, I am drinking out of my most new cup. I love cups. My husband used to say, why are you getting another cup? We have so many. Well, I like cups. And of course, then again, I always get a bargain. I don't know that this was even a dollar. I have my coffee with collagen and my protein in it. This, I have to tell you, I think I've got a lot of new hair growth up here. I can't tell you exactly exactly that it's from the collagen but i'm thinking that's really about the only thing different i've done lately one thing before i get started with my little what i had planned for you today to show you this tell you about this blanket this was my son's t-shirts when he was a little boy i cut all the front off of each t-shirt and some of them I just used a regular t-shirt when I didn't have a, a pretty one to fill it. This one was signed by some of his friends and a camp he went to, a basketball camp, and different ones. And on the back, I just used a camo fabric. It's, it was um, flannel. And I just tied it. And I have batting in, in between it. I had that here for years and... He was over just recently, and I said, do you want to take that home with you? And he says, I think I'd rather you keep So I just thought you might enjoy seeing that. And you can do the same with some of your shirts or whatever, or, or your kids or grandkids. Um, you can retrieve them if you get a chance and do the same thing. It's very simple to do. doesn't take hardly any any talent to do that for sure. What I thought today I would talk about, you know, I've been in tops for years, take off pounds sensibly. One of us would get a program together and we'd take it from our tops books or some tops information or, you know, healthy living and something that would encourage you to go out and do better as far as your health is concerned, your weight or your eating habits or whatever. The title was um, talking about things kids do. A lot of these are good for us today at any age. And one of them was uh, laughter feels good. And we all know that is true. Kids seem to inherently know how to laugh. And it wouldn't hurt us to do the same. It's supposed to help with your blood pressure. It helps your brain function. It gives you energy, and it will help you have a better attitude in life. Smiling helps, too. I just thought that was really good. Don't forget, we can laugh. Look for something good to laugh about. I like a little funny joke, a little funny little short sayings. Uh, Playtime is important. Well, you say, we're adults. We don't need to play. Well... Maybe we're playing a little different than the children. We can get caught up in our work and our chores that we just don't want to do anything else and don't have time to do anything else. But we need to carve out some time to do something that is enjoyable for us. A lot of us like to do crafts. A lot of us get on the computer and play games or do crossword puzzles or do things like that to, to keep your mind active. Remember, we can still have fun in life. By doing that, we can have actually have better health. Things to look forward to. Just learning to relax can be a big benefit in yours and my life. Reading our Bibles and studying God's Word. And having a heart of thanksgiving to the Lord and to and being thankful for what we have. The world is full of color and should be full of color. Even on our even on our dinner plate and our lunch plate. 
splash of color, different colors. If you ever notice, you know, most restaurants that you go in, they, you know, even like if you're having a hamburger and french fries, they might add some lettuce or used to, they'd add some parsley or something, maybe a red tomato or something. Color. We, you know, we eat a lot with our eyes. If it's not, don't look good, we don't want to eat it. And my hair just is driving me nuts. It wants to separate it, that one spot. It's good to eat a rainbow of colors. Not the rainbow, but food colors. If food looks good. If it looks good, we're going to want to eat it more. It's always wonderful to have friends. You know, at our age, we might not be able to get out and uh, go run and play with them or go shopping with them or whatever. Sometimes we do. Or, like me, I'm getting ready to go meet my friend at the donut shop. Now, you hear me talk about going to the donut shop. I do, quite often. I did Saturday, met some friends there. Today, I'm meeting one of my friends that I've never met at the donut shop. And we're just going to enjoy our visit together. For me, it's a good place to meet. Now, you might want to go to Starbucks. or I also have friends to come over for coffee. If you can't get out of the house and you're housebound and you have friends, invite them over for a cup of coffee or a glass of iced tea. Have a good visit. I always serve something. Some little something. Now, I went to my friends and had coffee this week had an apple and an orange and we sliced that and enjoyed that with our with our coffee and a good visit so don't forget even you if you're home sitting there you can invite somebody over if you don't if you feel like your home is not i don't have a beautiful home but i always enjoy having somebody over and try to pick up a little bit and just enjoy their company they're not coming over to see your house they're not coming over to see your dust. I don't know how I'm going to edit this. This would be awful to edit. So <laughs> we was talking about friends and having friends. Children tend to gravitate toward children. And we need to be doing the same thing. Gravitating toward friends. My last one is adventures are found outside, not inside. Well, that's very true. But I know some of us could be housebound. Now a plane's going by. <laughs> it's a little plane, a little airport close by. If we can go outside and get some fresh air. And I'm, I have to say, I'm more of an inside person than an outside person. I do get out in my yard now, but, you know, when my husband was here, he did most all the yard work and I did the inside. So well, that's kind of the what we did at that time. So I am venturing outside doing yard work now, getting up, picking up leaves and blowing off leaves and pulling weeds and that kind of thing. But it is good to get outside and just enjoy God's creation. Now, in my neighborhood, I don't have sidewalks, so I don't go for walks in my neighborhood which would be nice, and some neighborhoods are fun to go to. And if you go to a nice neighborhood, and you, it's fun to just walk and see all the beautiful yards and all of God's creation. Don't ever forget that when you can get outside, it's a good thing. And I hope I said a few things that might you might find interesting. Tomorrow is, is a budget meals under $5, and I made scones. And I have that ready to come up for tomorrow. Those scones are so good. Very easy to make. So you might want to come back and check. Well, every day this week I have something planned. So hope you like, subscribe, comment, and share. And most of all, I pray you remember Jesus loves you. He's there for us. And we can call on him anytime. God bless you. See you tomorrow.